give you guys a quick one. It's going to have, on the first page, some observations to make about the creek environment. Their research and their experience today is it gives them some real practical experience in what real scientists would be doing. So if that's interest for them, if they really you know enjoy this and learning about the environment, and kind of learning about um, how watersheds are impacted by human activity, this would be a, a, obviously a growing field and an important field for California. We are at Buck Gully. Uh, we've gone up to the upper part of the watershed to kind of look at what it's like, what the physical parameters are up there, and we did some flow measurements, see how quickly the water is moving through there. Um, and then we've also come down here to the beach where Buck Gully actually meets the ocean. So we've done some chemical testing here on the water to see what kind of nutrients are there, um, pH, conductivity, so a lot of different tests that we did today. But in general, we just want to make sure that the students understand how, how dynamic watersheds are, all of the aspects, both natural and human, um, that are involved in their watersheds, and uh, just give them some perspective on water quality in general. My name is Mayhul Patel. I'm the Groundwater Replenishment System Program Manager, and uh, part of my job is to make sure that the existing facility that you see today is, runs properly, meets all of its water quality standards, and make sure that we're meeting our budgets and goals for operation of the plant. So the current facility, the, the main thing it does is, is take treated wastewater that would normally be discharged in the ocean, put it through a three-step advanced process, the microfiltration, reverse osmosis and ultraviolet light with hydrogen peroxide. So the water district's job and the job of this plant is to provide an additional source of water to replenish the groundwater table and protect it from seawater intrusion. And what we hope to get from uh, and provide to visitors when they come is to show that there's alternate sources of water available, that there are ways we can use conservation and recycling to help uh, not only sustain the current water level usage, but increase water level usage in the future through population growth and find a responsible way to do that that's locally owned and locally controlled. Uh, well, today was pretty interesting learning new stuff about the water environment and what shocked me was that this is the biggest um, water shed of the world and how much money is invested in all this and they're making it even bigger so we could have water for the future.